Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on dividing algebraic terms. Often we have algebraic expressions, so a mixture of like add and subtract and numbers like four and variables like x and y, and sometimes we just want to tidy it up. So in this particular case, we're dividing two algebraic terms, something divided by something, something divided by something, and we want to simplify this so it's tidier. Now just think about how we've simplified fractions. If I had, say, six ninths, we could simplify that by dividing top and bottom by three. So we divide top and bottom by three, that would give us two thirds. And the same applies in algebra. We can divide top and bottom by whatever we like, as long as it's the same. Now, can you see we could divide the top and the bottom by four? They have four in common. So we could actually cross out these fours. Now, if you divide four by four, it's one. So you effectively have one there. And then you're just left with x over one. But anything divided by one is just itself. So x divided by one is just x. Another way of thinking about it is kind of in words. So if I had four lots of x and I split that in four, then I would just have one lot of x. So the answer would be one x or x. What about the next one? Can you see there's something common to top and bottom? There's an x at the top and the bottom, so I can just cross those out. And if you're left with nothing at the bottom, you just get what's left at the top. So the answer would be four. Now, what about this one? There's no variables at the bottom, so I can't cross out any of the letters, but 10 and two, we could divide them both by two. So I can cross out the 10 and put five because I'm dividing it by two. And when I divide two by two, I just get one. And remember, if we've got one at the bottom, divide by one has no effect, so we're just left with five xy. Again, if we think about this in our head, if we've got 10 lots of xy and we divide it by two, then we have five lots of xy. So the answer is five xy. And what about the last one? Again, we've got an x common to top and bottom. I can just cross those out. And because there's nothing left at the bottom, it's effectively one. So you just get eight y left like that. So that is the final answer. 